All right, I got the Mavic Mini here. Brand new drone, came out today. Today we're gonna see if we can uh, mod it up. First day it came out, put some uh, higher capacity batteries into it. First, let's open it up and see what we got. So this is the Fly More package, so it comes with three batteries. So if I break one and blow it up, that's fine. Hopefully I don't lose it. It's like 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So we got the, the package here, nice hard case, and here's the drum, it's actually almost like a feather, it's pretty light. So here's the comparison of three different drums that we have here, I got the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Air, and then the Pro Zoom, or actually Mavic 2 Zoom, not the Pro, as you can see. Um, so here's a comparison of different sizes. But let's get into what we got in the box here. So we have controller. So it looks kind of similar to the air controller. A couple buttons are missing. As you can see, a couple of these buttons are different spots. But overall, it's a good design. Feels like a different kind of plastic. And then into the box here. Let's see what's in this box. I don't think the batteries are in this pipe. So a bunch of cables. We'll worry about that later. I think these are actual propellers. So let's see. Instruction manual. These are the propeller guards. Here's one of the one of the batteries or all the batteries. I think all of them are in there. And then just a cable to plug into the wall. So let's open up the batteries since that's what we're concerned about. So this drone gets about they claim 30 minutes of battery life, but I think it gets a little bit less, about 25 to 27 of actual battery life. And we're gonna see if we can swap out the battery. So this is a 18650 cell. This one's uh, 3,500 milliamps per cell. So we're gonna switch out two of them. From this, this has only 2,400 milliamps. So we should get about 30 to like 35% better flight time. Okay. So you can see they definitely use the same kind of cells in there. Hopefully when we open this up, we can get a, we can swap it out pretty easily, just a little bit of solder. Yeah, so we got three of them, so we're going to try one of them. If it works well, then we'll do all three, but we'll see. So these are the two new batteries that we're going to try to put in this uh, battery pack. Both of them weigh together 94 grams, and just the DJI battery weighs 98. So you think that the casing would weigh about 10 or 12. Um, so they actually use something lighter in here. So we're gonna hopefully get better performance with these. So let's see, let's try uh, opening up this battery now. So it looks like there's a little bit of a tape film here. So let's see if we can remove this tape. We don't really care about preserving it at the moment. Uh, I guess I have to bring it up here. There's like a tape here, so we're going to try and remove this film. Just comes right off, just a piece of tape. And then you can kind of see that there's a crack going all along. So we're just going to try and loosen that up. Now if this gets damaged and ugly, we can always put this back on to cover it up. So using an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to go lightly across the groove without puncturing the cell. I'm sure a fire wouldn't be too good in here. Okay. You can already see the cell.
actually comes quite easy when it's sticking. I'm going to show you that I'm putting cables, cords. Let's see. I'll have to speed this part up. <laughs> Got that off. As you can see, here's the two cells. They definitely use some kind of glue in here. Probably not glue. Yeah. So if you use a uh, hair dryer or you know, some type of uh, heat gun, it might be a little bit easier. Don't really care about the, the battery at this point. So I brought it outside because it was sparking. Um, so as you can see, they put some wires here just to con contact the negative and positive. Uh, this black wire looks like it's just a loop. So they just kind of loop it there. Whereas the back side of the terminal, they solder these together. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a standard cell. Here's the actual model. Let's see if we can get that on camera. So, you see it says Samsung. It's a Samsung battery. And we'll do the mod now. All right, I'm gonna save you guys some time here. So basically I wired it all together and it all seemed fine. And all the voltage seemed perfect, except for the issue is that there's just too much wire. The wire is pretty thick, so it wouldn't close all the way. So that gave it a little bit of height and it wouldn't fit all the way into the drone. So I'm gonna have to try again with some smaller wire. Um, but yeah, shouldn't be too big of a deal. You can try again in the future. Um, I did get a weird spark on the board, so I have a feeling that I might have fried something. So, we'll see. I'll open a second battery if I did, but we'll just have to stay tuned till the next video. Anyone. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace.